Today we're going to do part two of our dirty mixer. We did all the wiring for what's inside and now we're going to do the unboxing part. For this one I'm going to use a box I found outside and it's a an empty thin plastic box so it will be perfect to just use as, as an enclosure. I'm going to link the project box enclosure in the about section so you can get a super professional box as well but if you just want to learn how to place it in anything made of plastic or metal then that tutorial should do the trick then in part two of today we're going to do a second design that i will insert inside this nest gun in part one we had two toggle switches one pot two video input and one video output this is the same thing we have here. We're gonna have to make six holes. To make the holes, a drill bit. To measure the drill bit, you just have to like kind of check the diameter of the largest part you have to insert. And then if it kind of matches it, then it should be fine. Try not to go too big because you have to screw the nut. So if it's too big, then you won't be able to do it. I think the largest one we have will be the video output and input. So for this one, I took a larger drill bit that kind of matches the size of the uh, hole here. You just, just do it by eye. Usually they sell a kit with like a bunch of different sizes. This one I had a company design there, so I tried to like make it work with the words and stuff. But since we have a blank canva, then we can just put them wherever. If you have like a white pen or anything that's kind of easy to see. So you could use something straight such as ruler or I'm just going to use a piece of paper. I kind of want to have my pot like straight in the middle, kind of here. And then I will have my toggle switch here. So what's nice about using chalk is that it's pretty easy to just remove after if you don't like it. That looks pretty much like it. And then I'm going to have other video input. I could put them there, but then it would be hard. So. I'm just going to put them on top here. Just like so. So I'm going to try to make it like a little bit more straight. Should work. And you can measure it with a ruler. I think it would be more precise and nice. But if you're just going to wing it, well, try to make it kind of symmetrical. And this is one thing that bugs me with this one because this one is clearly a little bit higher than this one. So it's like driving my OCD crazy. So make sure you measure it when you buy a very nice enclosure to make sure that it doesn't end up crooked. <laughs> All right, so now that we kind of measured it, I'm going to take my drill. In case you never drilled in your life, I'm just going to make it looser here. And I'm going to start with the smaller drill bit. Just place it there, re-screw it. And usually on any drill you have like a forward or backward mode. So obviously you want to go like clockwise, which will go inside. it so it's pretty clean once it's removed so I'm gonna do the same with the other ones you don't want to go too fast because you don't want to break the plastic but usually plastic is pretty resistant now we have our three holes I'm gonna do a quick try to see if it fits see it's a little bit tight I'm going to make the other holes to pre-purse them then I'll see if I can find one that's a little bigger see it works really well when the tip is just a little bit pointy. Like this. I'll see if it works. Because I was pretty close to making it fit inside. See, it works. So just by giving it a little twist and now it fits inside. Now we should be able to put all these parts there. Nice. For the big ones, 
it's a 516 and for a small one I used 732 732 516 so usually if you can do the drilling from inside that would be cleaner on the other side because then see how nice and perfect the holes are inside compared to outside so for my next one I think I'm going to drill from inside so that the other side would be very nice so we're here to learn now I'm going to take my glue gun and we're going to use it to secure everything in place inside the case the three big holes we remember are for the three yellow parts this one goes in the middle I'm just going to place it in the middle here okay then I place back the nut tighten everything you want everything nice and tight toggle switch so we we'll go here this one we we'll go here just going to place back the nuts and everything that came with going to put the nut there So now I put the switch on the side like that. Depending on where you screw it, you could have it go vertically too. But you're gonna have to put the same side for the other one. Do it in the same. That's what it looks like. Now that everything is stable and in place, I have my glue gun. I'm going to add some glue to all the components here. To make sure that nothing moves that everything stays in place like so now for the last part you have to make sure that you have the component out by itself because this one goes in the middle to so just make sure that you remember which one will be your out two ins, one out. And you'll notice that they're not, they're not like super secure, like one just fell. So that's why you need to put some glue because as you remember in the first part, I told you that I don't have the model with the nuts that you can tighten. So it's very important that you put some glue on the back. Otherwise they will not stick in place. I'm going to try to apply some without really putting some on the top of the cover that way it won't really show that it's there, but it will be secured. Then I'm also going to put some of the components in the back so that they won't move. And it will look like a big hot mess, but at least it will be isolated. There's less risk that it will just break. Let's wait for it to dry and it should work fine. You could also decorate this, put some paint before you add the component, put, put some paint, put some design, uh, stickers. Um, whatever you feel like doing. I think it kind of looks cool anyways. But if you were to drill in these, it would be like the same type of drill bit, but the metal ones. 